Money is important, but it's not, it's not the whole story, is it? More money makes a difference, but we are convinced, especially in medical research, again, if you look at the landscape of folks who are funding uh, Parkinson's research, the U.S. government is much bigger than we are, uh, pharmaceutical industry much bigger than we are, so in a relative sense, we're the smallest. Um, and so we get a sense that more money could be useful, but we know that our dollars are having a remarkably higher impact on a per dollar basis. Yeah because of how we spend it. And so exactly. I'd say in thinking about the, some of the key things that have equipped us to, you know, to hopefully have impact, um, one is that we didn't really outsource decision making when it came to yeah. making grants. And I think in, particularly for public charities who are focused in a disease space, many of them are focused, are uh, prioritized patient services so they don't um, allocate a large num amount of their budget to research, but to the extent they do, they tend to call the experts, mm -hmm. hand them a pile of money and say, you just tell us where to send the checks, and then they send the checks out. And, and we found quickly, and, and perhaps because we were n just naive enough to not know any better, <laughs> that um, we felt more comfortable really thinking about how to use capital and then educating ourselves on uh, in a way to allocate capital. And so we have an unusual approach, having PhDs on staff. We run a portfolio of investments as if you know we're not a venture capital fund, but it, we look more like a, a, an incubator fund for Parkinson's mm -hmm. drug development than we look like a typical um, yeah. uh, you know, disease nonprofit.